Right, in this video, we're going to cover how to configure Google's public DNS service on the Amazon Fire TV. Uh, doing so will, uh, in our testing, has gained uh, a significant performance boost. Things just seem to move faster because Google's DNS servers are just so much faster than the average internet service providers. Uh, so to get started, we want to copy our values from here. Let's go to Settings and then My Fire TV. We're going to go to About and then network and you see my what my IP address is with the gateway and you see that our DNS is set to uh, Midco is my internet service provider that's that's the DNS servers for them so what you want to do is write down everything on the screen or take a picture we will need to know this information later I'm gonna go back to the home screen and let's get to configuring it actually did I? I didn't even write it down. Let's see. 109. Okay. So let's go to network. And I'm going to press the uh, three lines on your remote just to forget this network. And then select. And we're disconnected from that network now. I'm going to go back to reconnect to it. Instead of typing in my, uh, well, I'm going to type in my password here. And instead of hitting connect, we're going to go to advanced. Now you see it, uh, it asks you to enter the stuff in manually. And so I'm going to enter in what my IP address was. the gateway like we saw it before now the prefix length uh, that is your subnet mask uh, they, they have you enter it in as a different value mine is 24 that's what means uh, that converts to 255.255.255.0 if you need to figure out your prefix length for your network I suggest you google uh, a subnet mask ca calculator subnet mask calculator and that'll help you get this value most likely it's 24 and here we get to set our DNS values so for Google they use their DNS servers and you see it's already kind of shadowed there uh, Amazon even likes to encourage you to use these values 8.8.8.8 for the first DNS server and then the secondary is 8.8.4.4 and those are the two Google DNS servers we're gonna go ahead and connect and we are connected and if you go here we're gonna go back out to home go back to our about screen just to see how things look and as you can see now the DNS is now switched to 8.8.8.8 .8 we are now using Google's public DNS service for our DNS We're like again can't emphasize enough how much of an improvement you'll see if you make this change hope this video has helped that's uh, how it's done if you have any questions leave them for me be sure to subscribe and if you need tips like this or more visit streamersworld.com